Hello and uh, welcome to this video where I will show you our most recent text game for Chinese learners which is called The Magistrate's Gallery. I will simply show you how the game is played and I will tell you a little bit about it. Uh, this game is available on the web, it's also available on iOS and uh, Android. So the interface is uh, very simple and it works pretty much like all the other games we have created. And if you're curious, I have already created videos for our games Into the Haze and uh, Escape. So you want, might want to check those out as well. In this video though, we're going to look at the Magistrate's Gallery. Uh, as I said, this is the typical interface on the mobile apps. And it's very simple. Um, all the characters can be played or by simply clicking the play button. And of course, there is not much to play here. It's just the title of the game. To make sure that you can follow the video, I'm going to explain what's going on in English. So I'll play the audio and I'll explain. If your reading speed is not really up to par, you might not be able to read or indeed uh, understand the spoken messages completely. And the goal with this video isn't really to teach you Chinese, it's just to show you how the game works so that you can then play the game on your own and learn some Chinese that way. So uh, it might be a little bit fast in that regard, but uh, think of this as an introduction to the game, not to the words and grammar and so on. Okay, let's get started. So this is how it generally works. Uh, we have some kind of information displayed with audio and then there is a purple button here that will allow you to continue. And since I want to play the audio, I'll do that first. Okay, so we are sitting in front of an empty canvas. So we're probably some kind of artist. Okay, so we are having some difficulty selecting what color to use here, and we have a strange feeling that this might influence our lives in some way. Uh, this is a bit weird perhaps, but it's simply a, a way for us to uh, introduce two different, completely different versions of the game. So you can play the game to completion choosing one color and then replay the game with another color and the game will be different. Well, it's not completely different, but it is different in the sense that uh, the story develops differently and there are different things to do. Uh, so let's see what the choice actually is here. So what color do we want? So, green or red? I'm going to go with green because I like green. So I just tap the button here and uh, the game will proceed. Okay, so we're planning to paint something with lots of green in it and we, we get started with our painting. And then someone knocks at the door. Okay, so our cat who was uh, sitting on the table is startled by the knocking on the door and uh, she knocks the teacup over and it falls onto the floor but doesn't break. So this is perhaps a good opportunity to show you the built-in dictionary. <clears throat> so let's say you don't understand something here. Uh, you might not have seen cha bei, for instance. You simply tap it and down here it will show you that it means teacup. Uh, or let's say you didn't know what po means here. You can see that it means broken or damaged. So we know the tea teacup wasn't broken. Okay, let's move on. Great job, you earned five points. 
Okay, this is a way uh, for us to tell you that you're doing a good job and that you're moving in the right direction. Uh, you all, always get, get points for doing things that are in line with the story or the things you're supposed to do in the story. Uh, if you get points, you can rest assured that you're doing uh, the right thing. Uh, you don't get points for everything, of course, but you do get points when, when you do something significant that is correct. And at the bottom here, you can see that it says 5 out of 155. So that means that there are 155 points in the game altogether. It might not be the case that you uh, have to have all these points when you finish the game. There could be optional things that also give points and that are also in line with what you're supposed to do, but which simply aren't compulsory to finish the game. But we've come just a, a small step into the game right now. So let's move on. So what are we planning to do? Open the door. Or pick up the teacup. Well, I don't care about the teacup. I just want to get going, so I'm going to go and open the door. Okay, so we put down our brush and brushed, uh, brushed our uh, hands off and opened the door. And the cold wind uh, is blowing in. 门外站着一个男人，他个头很高，眼睛很亮，看起来有些担心。So there is a man standing there, and he uh, is tall, and he has bright eyes, and he looks a bit worried. And this is indeed uh, the start of the actual start of the adventure. Um, uh, in the beginning, there aren't that many interesting choices, simply because there is, there are certain things that we need to introduce to you as a player about what's going on and a kind of backstory and so on. Uh, so I, in a minute here, I'm going to jump further into the game and show you another scene. But I'll just show you or tell you really briefly what the game is about. There is a girl who is missing and uh, we are recruited to find her. And she has been uh, trapped within a painting. And we don't know exactly where or how to get her out. So the game is basically about traveling into... Uh, different paintings and talking with people in historic scenes uh, from China and trying to find information about this girl and also do and say certain things to make sure we can get her out. So that's generally what this game is about. And as I said, there are two versions of the game. So where the girl is and how you get her out is different in depending on which color you choose at the beginning. And some other things are different too. So before we, we jump uh, to the next scene, or I mean further into the game, I just want to show you some minor things about the interface here. So down here we have the footsteps, that simply means how many choices you've made, so two so far, not that many. And we can also see where we are, which is in our own gallery here, or uh, painting studio. Okay, so here we are a bit further into the game. And uh, we've now made around, well, 28 choices, and we have some 35 points. And we are inside uh, a painting. I'm not going to explain how we ended up here. You'll have to play the game to figure that out. But I will show you a little bit more about uh, more of how the game is played. You're 这条河刚好穿过整个小镇, okay, so we're standing on a river bank, and there are lots of houses, and it's a bustling street, and we have, uh, uh, there's a river also that passes through the village. And there are also walls, stone walls surrounding the river. So what do we want to do? So walk upstream. So we can eat a berry here, which is uh, related to how you get in and out of the painting. So we're going to ignore that. And look around. And walk towards the center of the village. Well, it always kind of makes sense to look around, so let's do that. 
，有些人在往船上放东西，还有一些人正在把船上的东西拿下来。Okay, so there are a few small boats and people unloading、uh, and loading cargo on them. That's not really something we can do anything with, I think. But let's let's see. 河上还有一条十分华丽的船，船上有客舱，一个男人正拿着长杆划着船。Okay, so there is also one kind of, kind of luxurious boat with、um, a cabin for passengers and a person or a man、uh, steering it. Let's see what we can do. 你打算怎么做？让经过的船注意到你。Okay, so call the attention of this this、uh, luxurious boat that is passing by. 吃一个果子。Yeah, this is the same as before.、Uh, I mean, leaving the paint, leaving this painting, which we don't want to do. 去跟工人说话。Okay, we can talk to the workers. 往上游走。Yeah, and the rest of them are the same. We can go upstream. We can go、uh, look around. We can go into the center of the city or village, and we can go downstream. Well,、uh, we don't really know what we're doing here. We know that we're looking for a girl or some clue as to what might have happened. So, talking to people is generally good. So let's talk to the workers. 去跟工人说话。人们正站在河边。把船上的东西一件一件拿下来。你走了过去。Okay, so it just describes that、um, they are standing on the side of the river and、uh, they are unloading、uh, wares of the or cargo of the ship, and we、we'll、go over there to talk to them. 请问你在拿什么呢 ？So we're curious what they are carrying or.、Uh, Bringing off the ship. 其中一个人回答道。So one person is responding. 这都是布料。你不是这里人吧？ Uh, it's all cloth, and、uh, he asks if we're actually from around here. 另一个男人对回答你的男人说道。And another person is saying to the one who who answered us. 我们可没时间说话，我们得赶快把这些东西都拿出来。We don't have time to talk. We need to unload these things quickly. 看来你最好还是不要再打扰他们了。So perhaps we'd better not disturb them. Okay, so I don't think we learn anything useful, really. We know that they're unloading cloth, which is not really、uh, important. I think. I mean, could be, but probably not. So let's. There was another option here. Uh, yeah, call the attention of the boat or the the man on the boat passing by. Let's do that. It's this one. You might have noticed, by the way, that the choices here they change、uh, place, they change order, and that is simply to encourage you to read and not just get stuck in pressing number three or something. You should actually read and recognize the characters, obviously. You 冲着划船的男人喊 Okay, so we are shouting at the guy on on the boat. 你好。请问我可以上船吗 ？So hello, can we get on the boat? 一开始，男人没有听到你说话。当你又喊了一次以后，他回答了你。So he didn't hear at first, but now he's heard us. 早上好，我会在下游停船。你到那里等着我吧。So he says、uh, that he's going to、um, stop a bit further downstream, and we can、uh, meet there. Okay, so I assume we have to go downstream here if we want to、uh, speak with him. So we can do that. You 往下游走。你之前看到的船现在正停在码头，而之前和你说话的那个人正在码头上。Okay, so the boat is now has now stopped and. Is anchored in the harbor, and the the man who was steering it is standing on the harbor, so we can talk to him on the dock, I guess. You 打算怎么做？去码头上，往上游走。
往村庄走去。Okay, so we can go to the dock. We can go upstream again, which takes us back to where we came from, and we can go into the、uh, city or village as well.、Uh, well, we were here to talk with him, so I guess going to the dock might be a good idea. You go up the stairs to the dock. The captain is calling you. So yeah, we're walking. Down a,、uh, a ladder to the dock, and、uh, we're there now. And he's、uh, hailing us. You 准备说些什么 ？So what do we want to say to him? 问他能不能接受新客人。So ask him if he's willing to take on passengers. 离开码头。So leave the the dock. 问他喜不喜欢划船。Ask if he likes to.、Uh, I don't know, row. I don't. I'm not sure if this boat is rowing or not. But、uh, anyway,、um, or we can do what? The last one. 问他船上有没有客人 So ask if there are any customers or passengers at the moment. Well, let's see if there are. 你的船上有客人吗 So are there any passengers on board? 之前有两位客人，他们刚刚下船。So there were two, but they're now <coughs> they've now left the boat. What do we want to do? We can leave the dock, same as before. Ask if he likes it, or ask if he takes passengers. Well, let's see if he takes passengers. 请问你还接受新客人吗 ？Okay, let's see what he says. 不好意思，我下午已经有别的客人了，他们应该马上就要到了。Okay, so there are other customers coming. They should be here any time. You 准备说些什么 ？And we can still just leave, and we can ask if he likes it or not. 问他喜不喜欢划船。Let's do that. 是的，我爸爸之前就一直在划船。我最喜欢小河下游的那一段。那里离这里也不是很远吧？ So yeah, he likes it, and he he especially likes、uh, it downstream. There is a section where he likes, and doesn't not too far away from here. When I 划船经过下游的那一段时，我能听到远处有人在吹笛子。那笛声是我听过最好听的声音了。我想，那笛声是从高墙后的花园中传出来的。Okay, so there is some kind of flute. Uh, being played that he thinks is very very beautiful, and he says that it comes from perhaps a garden、um, or behind、uh, the high walls. In my imagination, the garden has a woman being held captive by a beautiful woman who is trying to ask for help from outside. At least, in my opinion, the sound of the flute is a little sad. So he thinks this is a bit sorrowful. This flute playing, and he, he thinks that it might be. It sounds like it's someone calling to escape a beautiful maiden in distress or something. Well, we are actually looking for a maiden in distress, so this might be some kind of clue. So that we, what did we learn here? We learned that there is the sound of a flute from somewhere downstream, and it might be related to this garden or something. Okay, we also get ten points.、Uh, probably means we're doing something right here. Okay. Uh, and we could leave the harbor here, and we can go and look for other clues and see、uh, how we can figure out where this girl is and how to get her out. However, that's、uh, the point of the game. So、uh, the idea, of course, is to for you to play the game so that you can learn some Chinese and take your time over this. And of course, I realized this was、uh, pretty quick, and I don't imagine that you, as a kind of I don't know intermediate student, perhaps、um, were able to follow everything at this speed. But I'm sure that if you play the game a few times and take your time, I think you you'll be fine. So this is our new game, and、um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you will enjoy the game.